Hey folks, I'm Thomas Mears and this is your local PEI news update. In local news, I want to talk about Heather Morrison here for just a moment. She is setting the best example on how to be a great islander. Yesterday our premier Dennis King reminded everybody that on top of being our chief health minister, she's also a mom with four young kids at home. And uh, I know, speaking for myself, I've just got one nine-year-old at home and we've been cooped up for the last week and I can't even imagine what it must be like having four kids to take care of as well as everybody on PEI at the same time. So just want to shout out to uh, Heather Morrison and give you a big old thumbs up because I think you're doing a really great job and I'm pretty sure that everybody on PEI will agree with me on that one. I've noticed that with everybody being stuck at home, it's really helping to bring out all of our individual creativity. East Pointers are reminding us that life is worth living as long as there's a laugh in it by reading Anna Green Gables every night at 7 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time. Be sure to check that out. Check out a picture of Kelly Kaisley's dog. Looks like he's had a pretty rough day. Amber Manuel is sharing pictures of the sea glass that she likes to pick up on Prince Edward Island beaches and it reminds us all that even in these dark times, life is still vibrant and full of color and beauty. Brian Carr is a really cool PEI actor whose mind didn't draw a blank this morning when he made this really neat Facebook post. Whether he's sharing his incredible photography or sharing one of his witty quotes, we can always count on Al Douglas. Here's a really cool Instagram post he made this morning. Andrew McDonald shared this delicious photograph. Any leftovers? Now for some local PEI music news, here's some folks that don't need handles to carry a tune. The Smith family recently launched a YouTube channel where they write and record music and play it and share it with all the folks out there and they're doing a really, really great job. Check it out. Here's Logan Richard sharing some blues licks. He has got some serious talent. Keep an eye out for him. Here's a really neat video. Steve Guy, a local saxophone player, made this really cool video where he just decided to play some saxophone and deliver a really awesome message to everybody. Then Ryan Glantz saw it and was inspired to play drums along with it. Donovan and Laura are taking advantage of this downtime by playing some music at home. Boy, do they ever sound sweet. I just can't get enough of them. Here's another clip of Donovan playing guitar. I love how his son nonchalantly walks around in the background as Donovan is literally melting the frets off of his guitar. Speaking of guitar, the one that Donovan is playing in that last clip was actually built right here on PEI by a luthier named Danny Baker. Here's a photograph of him painting another one of his beautiful creations. Now it's time for some local PEI political news. I'm not going to dig into this too much, but there is a little something that I'd like to say. Recently, Dennis King posted a video message to update Islanders on what's going on with the coronavirus. I kind of wish that the Premier would be a little bit more real with folks. We haven't heard from him much, but every time we see him, he kind of looks like a raccoon caught in the headlights out for a stroll on Highway 2, right? I feel that an important aspect of leadership is humility, much like what Heather Morrison has shown to us. She gives us the facts, but still finds a way to speak from the heart. And it really helps us all to connect to her and really have her messages sink in. I know that there's an enormous weight on Dennis's shoulders right now, but would it be too much to ask him to forget about the script every once in a while and just get real? Last year, I was at the annual Cornwall Scream Park with my family and I saw Dennis King there. This was right after he got elected to be premier of Prince Edward Island. There wasn't a whole bunch of fanfare around him. He was just there hanging out like everybody else. He was just a regular guy and it really resonated with me. Now when I see him though, he's just like every other politician out there. He's always tiptoeing around his words and scared to say the wrong thing. It's a shame though, because in real life, Dennis King is personable and super funny as well. I wish that he could find a way to combine his personality into his public persona. The exact guy that Dennis is at his core is exactly who PEI needs right now. And I hope we get to see that Dennis soon. With all of us being cooped up inside right now, it's important to remember to get out for some fresh air every once in a while. Even a short 20 minute walk can make a huge difference. I recommend going out either in the morning when it's fresh and beautiful and there's not many people around or in the middle of the day, which really helps to break things up. Here's a photograph of Pat Deegan out with his family for a stroll. And here's a photograph from Island Millars out for a stroll on the beach. 
In closing, I'd like to remind everybody that there's nobody going to get us out of this coronavirus jam. It's up to ourselves to get out of it by staying home and staying away from people and stopping the spread of the virus. As of this morning, there's a thousand cases in Canada. Yesterday, there was 800 cases and a week ago, only a week ago, there was only a hundred cases. I've heard people bring up this analogy that there's way more car crashes that kill people in Canada, and I think that it's just silly and ridiculous to compare it to that. Remember, car crashes are not highly contagious. Car crashes can happen by accident, but the virus does not have to happen by accident. All we have to do is stay home and literally do nothing to save the world. I, for one, am happy to abide by that. That sums it up for today's local PEI news. Once again, I'm Thomas Mears, and remember, if it's all good, then it's not too bad.